This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutation viewers, Voldemort back here with another episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. In the last episode, we were shown what by Trunks, well, to check out the area, fought him to test our strength, and told us our reason for being here. We gotta protect time, and right now, currently, someone's affecting the timeline, as in making Raditz stronger than he actually was. Surprise, surprise. Although, at the beginning of the series, he was really strong and almost killed our heroes, yet through some uh, tactics, they were able to beat him, but... And then now he's just considered a joke uh, as a villain, despite his actual significance to Dragon Ball history in the franchise. But whatever. Also, Raditz being the most misused opportunity for storytelling ever in an anime. Like, I guess I was supposed to be the joke that, like, the brother of the character just gets killed, like, right off the bat. Yet, like, you know, like other stories would keep him around for a while. They get to get to know each other, maybe be a final villain or whatever. I don't know. I think they could have easily done more as Raditz, but like I said, I didn't write the show, but whatever. And most people have the same issue that I have. Anyway, let's fight Raditz with Goku and Piccolo. Helping us out. Double Sunday! Yeah! Or is it Watch the Birdie? One of the two. Anyway, no let's fight him. No matter how much trash there is, it's still trash! Hey, can I get your help? <laughs> don't be a drag. Can you hear me? Okay, oh, yes, sir. Now, I'll be backing you up from the time next. Listen, this Raditz, he's stronger and crueler than his historical form. Please, I need you to defeat Raditz, so Goku and the others will finish him. Yeah, get back here, Raditz. It's over. Yeah, I kind of wish they kept, like, Raditz around a lot longer for the purposes of, like, the initial story, but I guess they did need some type of protagonist, or, uh, sorry, antagonist to get everyone started. Kakarot, are you going to kill your only brother? Horrible. Heartless guy like you is not my brother! I quit! I, I give up! I'll leave this planet quietly, okay? Don't let him fool you, go. He'll never do something like that. Yeah, he's a... He does try to trick you into finishing. And we did it. We beat a Raditz. Raditz. First is we get this out and says, what? Sorry, I did that last episode. Oh, I didn't get an S. I guess that means I suck at beating Raditzes. Oh, well. Can we get some attribute points? I assume the game will tell us that he uses later. What? What are you doing? Now, Piccolo, do it! Special Beam Cannon! you right. What was that? Where did... Yeah, apparently history is still affected. We still helped. He remembers we were there. Thank I mean... you so much. That was wonderful. I didn't think it was your first time. You corrected the timeline. Good job. And with no side effects, either. What are you talking about? They remembered we were there. Alright. Once we have the Supreme Kai of Time put it in a scroll, it'll all be done. Oh, well, game over. Well, thanks for watching me play Dragon Ball Z versus fun while it lasted. Oh, you don't have to worry about Goku. It's fine. He'll be revived with the Dragon Balls. Because death has no meaning in Dragon Ball. Seriously, it doesn't anymore. It's almost like a joke. Like, I'm surprised people even get sad at scenes where people die in Dragon Ball later on. It's just like, but they'll revive him with the Dragon Ball. There's no... Death is not a consequence in this world. Unless you died before the series started or, or during fan fiction or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And, well, that scroll isn't the only one with a history change. 
Why would you make more? Just talk to me whenever you're ready. Take your time. Oh, well, we do have all the time in the world because we're the time patrol. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of like in a, it's kind of like in Back to the Future's like, wait a minute, I've got a time machine, I have all the time in the world. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Can now use the shops. Um, I'll probably do that off screen, like, uh, like in between the middle of an episode if I'm not in the middle of a story thing. Um, and I guess, can we go see the, the Kai of Time? I want to see what she looks like. It's not enough, uh, not enough female characters in Dragon Ball, frankly. Need more. And no, I'm not saying that to be like all like, ooh, it's just like, uh, just different types of characters. You know, you know what I mean. I'm a fan of diversity, as it were. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's no real reason to not keep playing the story. I think of, well, let's see. I think there might be level requirements, so let's find out what Trunk says. Maybe he'll tell me what the level requirements are. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you something important. There are two main jobs that time patrollers have to do. The first is time patrol, that that you ju just now to fix the problems that happens in the scrolls. The second is the parallel quest. Let's see, I guess it's time. It's better to just experience it for yourself. I'm sure you'll get used to it very fast. Do you know where the time machine port of Toki Toki City is? Go back to Toki Toki City through the gate and then head left. Try talking to the robot at the building for parallel quest registration. I'm sure he'll tell you everything. I think. Well, I hope so. Go to the parallel quest registration at the time machine station to accept parallel quests. And several requests can be started. Can't be started the registration by request from a character in the city. Oh yes, I'll give you this too. It's a scouter. It's a scouter. We got old model scouter green. I guess uh, humans need it because we can't sense parallels as well or something like that. In battle, you can press the left directional pad to do a search for enemies. You can find enemies far away, see enemies behind obstacles, or even their power level. Locking on while search mode will allow you to view even more detailed information. My mom, my mom created this based off scouters Freeze's armor used to use. There are scouters out there with different look, but they function the same. This is essentially battle gear, and they're quite essential, useful in parallel quest. Be sure to equip it and try it out. You know what, maybe I'll do one, um, one parallel quest just to kind of show it, but the rest may be just plot for the most part. Let's see, can we equip uh, the scouter right now? Um, okay. Oh, that's right. There's uh, some free uh, free DLC for Xenoverse that I downloaded, which you get to say, uh, show Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan uh, from uh, Battle Frieza or Dragon Ball Super. Uh, I'm not going to wear that, but that's kind of funny. But anyway, let's wear the scouter. It's free, by the way, to get the Dragon Ball uh, Battle Frieza stuff. In. Oh. We can get. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can get Whis's outfit, too. I'm not going to wear that, but I thought it should show you Whis's symbol or battle suit, but Okay, anyway, let's wear the scouter. Why not? It's a classic of a uh, Dragon Ball. Well, I mean, it was classic whenever Fre uh, Raditz appeared, but... And then powers became BS, or, sorry, power levels became BS, and then they became pretty much worthless. They still look neat, but, okay, we need to go to Time Machine Station. Alright, too bad there's not a, uh, a run button. Or at least I don't think there is. Like, so. Yeah, we'll do like one parallel mission. I mean, if they if they have any interesting like story applications or something, maybe I'll show more on screen. But I feel I assume they're just gonna be just like side stories with like no story, like no actual cutscene story type of stuff. You know? Welcome to the parallel quest desk. Checking data. Checking data. Beep beep beep. Check complete. Check complete. You're a chosen elite patroller allowed to time travel with scrolls. I see. Welcome. This is the parallel quest BQ desk. This is where you reduce the re uh, effects of the runaway time fragments caused by distortion in history. Of how the time fragments are born is complicated, so just has trunks. The runaway time fragments have turned into PQ and are floating in time and space. If I'll have you use a special time machine to go to the PQ, I will have you defeat the enemies that are causing the fragments going out of control. These runaway fragments are completely unpredictable. Enemies can become allies and vice versa. Don't think too much and defeat enemies to claim or to calm the time fragments. It'll be a good experience for you and your and you gain skills and costumes. I'll also reward you based on performance. It is a job after all. Will you like to accept one? Yeah, we'll do one for 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 now, uh, just to show it off. The trunks guys ride right the time machine to challenge the parallel quest. Looks like we fight the Cybermen from uh, when the uh, during the Saiyan saga when Nappa and Vegeta appear on Earth, who end up being stronger than Raditz. Like I said, power levels are weird. Anyway, or the how power goes in Dragon Ball is never consistent enough to be like, it's almost at some point you just go eh, whatever
So instead of using the scrolls, we use uh, uh, Bulma's uh, uh, version of her time machine to go back in time. All right, in Trunks' trial. Okay. So we just have to fight the Cybermen, right? Okay. Interesting. Well, let's talk to Trunks then, I guess. Oh, B. In, I guess it's B in this uh, place. Hey! Stop yelling at me. During PQ, you can go to other areas through gates. Let's try passing through one now. Oops. Ah, nuts. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I assume it said, like, go through the portal. Uh, okay. Let's see, what was down again? Was it... Was it, uh... There we go. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to click the hey. tutorial so quickly. The gate can be found to the right if you face the temple. Use the R, press down on the right switch to move the camera and find it. Lock onto the gate and approach it. Then press B to go to the next area. Okay. All right. Mountains. All right, let's go. Wee. I assume I assume the gate says show something about transporting to other places or whatever. So all right, let's interact with the character here. Oh, trunks again. All right. Hey. There's an item in this area. Try finding it with using a scatter. Okay. Press the left directional pad. Uh, okay. And press B to pick it up. Okay. Oh, that's it. Alright. Yay. Got material. I'm just a material girl. Or material Dragon Ball character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Alright. Any more? Oh, well, so there's actually quite a few. Alright. I'm going to be running around for a bit to find it. Where is it? Was it? I was about to say, I thought it was around here somewhere. Oh, it's just got a highlight. Do I actually need to... So as long as I know the general area of it, I can... Oh, you can acquire items of skills by picking them up and by defeating enemies that use them. Press up. We'll bring up a list of items. Okay. All right, I guess we've got all that, so let's go to the next area. All right. Not too bad. It flows pretty smoothly uh, for the most part. Use the scatter on the gate to check if there are enemies up ahead. Huh, this this thing is so just universally awesome. Okay, how do... Oh, hey. you gotta tell me. Okay, I did. I don't... Do I have to, like, actually go up to it? Kind of okay. I it I used the scatter, it didn't do anything. I don't And there's more trunks. Yeah, talk to him here in a second. Alright, pick up that. That over there. Man, just like fetch quests. So even even Dragon Ball has fetch quest type of like, quest grabbing type of stuff. Well at least most of the story based missions are just uh um, fighting, so at least, uh, at least that's what you're looking for. Oh, I thought I saw another, uh... Oh, can we destroy that? Oh, it's just... Oh, okay, that's odd. Thank you. Anyway, hello, Trunks. Hey! Enemy is coming! Defeat them! Okay. During parallel quests, sometimes receive a warning that enemy is in challenge, or similar uh, times the allies will join the battle in a similar fashion. Uh, when enemy or ally joins the area... Okay, head towards that direction. Okay. Uh oh, a Cyberman. Watch out. Hopefully, I don't pull a Yonka and get destroyed like immediately. Or get uh, blown up. Poor Yonka. Huh. It uh -oh. got a few more. Two of them. I can I totally can't handle two. Ow. Why does the punch sound so sound weird sometimes, you know what I mean? Ow, ow, ow. Wait, I didn't know Cybermen could use uh uh could use a uh, um I could use 
uh, uh, um, energy. But that's kind of interesting. All right, next one. Ah, come on! Why'd you block? We got more now? Oh, uh, 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 satisfying certain requirements uh, will cause a change in time shot. A warning sign will appear. Powerful enemy will arrive. Defeating this enemy will provide even better rewards. Even if you lose, you will not count as a failure. Conditions of the time shard, a change, or a winning uh, will vary depending on the quest. Yes, yeah, since there's really not much story base to these, I'm just going to, in the future, when there are some, I'll just say it off screen. If I earn something, I'll tell you like what I had to do to earn it. But ooh, we get to fight a rat. It's. Are you gonna? Are you gonna give me a double Sunday? Well, I don't know. I'm doing pretty good so far. Playtime is over. I'll destroy you in an instant. Oops, wrong button. Oh, You got a lot of braggadocia for being a guy who's weaker than a Cyberman. Just saying. Ooh, we got. Oh, Z's the best ranking. Well, that makes sense. Nice. Okay. Oh, we didn't gain a level, but we gained some Zendi to buy some stuff. Guard shard, A shard. I assume I can use those during combat for to help me fight like stronger enemies if I don't level up or something. Yay! A fantastic journey begins. Aw. Thanks, game. Welcome back. How was the parallel quest? Unlike time patrols, parallel quests allow you to bring back lots of items. If you encounter powerful enemies, it'll be great training too. Please be sure to do the time patrols in addition to or, parallel quests in addition to your time patrols. Parallel quests will be played up to three players. Unfortunately, I well, I wouldn't even show it anyway. But there are some things that you have to have like two or three people to play, if I remember correctly. Uh, and obviously, there's some they're online only, so I'll I'll never be able to show those, unfortunately. Uh, well, I mean, I could get online to play, but I really don't care that much. Uh, Grand, you can go Parallel Soul if you wish. You can either use Super Warriors as you selected for Parallel Quests, try a Parallel Quest with a team you're choosing. Very nice. The Circle appears on a KO'd alley. You can revive them. Like, oh, give them a Sensu Bean! I assume. Okay, provide assistance to allies. Lock on alley you want. Press B to assist them on character you need. I'll go back to the time nest. If you're ready to do the time patrol, come and talk to me. Yeah, let's go ahead. Wait, can I just talk to you right now? Got to, got to be at the time nest. Yeah, I got to be at the time nest. Be at the time nest. Right All right. Anyway, now that we've beaten Cybin, now that we know that we're so so cool. Um. Uh, and yeah, I could go. And uh, maybe I'll try to do a surprise, like if I do parallel quest and find outfits and stuff like that. Maybe I'll just change my outfit, like. Just randomly, I don't know, it depends on how much I want to invest myself into uh, doing that stuff like that. I said I'll probably just do story stuff on screen. Ooh, Piccolo. Wait, aren't you dead? At le well, actually, I don't know how long. Never mind, Kami survived for a thousand years. Never mind, I guess Piccolo would be alive at this point in the mm. plot. Masters are powerful martial arts masters that appear throughout history. You'll have the opportunity to see people like this in Tokyo, Tokyo City. Talk to the masters. If they acknowledge your strength, they'll accept you as their student and train you. You are, the stu uh, you are the student of someone. Use the ultimate attacks taught by that master. Satisfying the above conditions will activate Z Assist. By activating Z Assist, your master's soul goes into you. Makes your... Ew, gross. Anyway, makes your attack much stronger. Oh, cool. Looks that resembles the look at Earth. What are you? Who... What are you? You live here? Time Patrol, your friends from Trunks. So, you're the guy that Trunks once trained. You seem to have lots of potential. My training is hard. I might kill you by my mistake. You think I'm kidding? There was a time I was a demon. Now I'm a slug person, even though demon sounds cooler than that. Now choose, do you want to be my student? Ah, eh, not right now. Well, I'll mess with that later. <laughs> you got scared. I mean, Piccolo's cool and all, it's just I don't want him to be my teacher. I don't know who I'd... I, I forgot who's available in the uh, uh, vanilla storyline. Um, 
I, I mean, I could. I, I assume his special ability is like special beam cannon. Ah, well, anyway, we'll talk to you later, Piccolo. Maybe, maybe, or maybe, or not. maybe I will or not be training up. Can you train under different masters and get different abilities, or is it just. Or whoever you decide to train under? Well, either way, let's talk to Trunks. Let's uh, see, do we have a few moments? Could call it an episode and, and allow me to train off screen. Yeah, that's fine. Now we'll, hey. we'll keep going. I'm ready for the next job. Do you want to go on a time patrol? Yes. I'm counting on you. And then we'll just, uh. We'll just do the story and then I'll. Uh, maybe I'll. I mean, it probably would have been a good time for break off for. Yeah. Story time. And you just revived as well. Right here, history is changing. I would really appreciate your help. Man, it looks like some crap's going down. It looks like the Cybermen were able to kill all of the uh, Earth's heroes and Nappa and Vegeta are, are Uzuru for him. Man, what happened there? That's a major thing. All right, humans helping humans as we help fight off the Cybermen. Infestation, Cybermen Scourge. It looks like we have to defeat multiple Cybermen to save uh, the Earthlings and to help help get the group together to fight Vegeta and Appa. Will the hero Valdemar, the Earthling, the power most powerful Earthling in the world, help our fellow Earthlings to defeat the Cybermen and help the world from the Saiyans? Find out next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.